Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome, and today we're going to take this uh, 2014 one owner from new Land Rover Defender 90 2.2 TDCI hardtop um, for a spin. We've also we've done a walk around video as well, which will appear after this. Done that inside because it's pouring with rain today. Hope you like it though. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 2014 Land Rover Defender 90 hardtop. Um, it's the late model with uh, ABS and traction control, uh, electric front windows and remote alarm locking with a mobiliser. This is a one owner from new car, um, one private owner. Has to be said though, the private owner was both a professional gamekeeper and a painter and decorator. So this one has been used for its true purpose, has been used off road. So there are marks and scrapes on it, um, been used for what it was designed for. It is not a show pony. Do not confuse it with one. Um, but, you know, finished in Aintree green metallic with a white roof, which looks nice. Incidentally, we're doing the video inside because the weather is so foul outside today that uh, I won't be able to get anything done with the wind and the rain. So we're doing it inside. Uh, if it doesn't work out well, we'll do it outside again when the weather's better. But uh, this is what we have for the moment. Yeah, Aintree green metallic with a white roof and uh, rather smart white wolf wheels, which have been on it from new, the genuine Land Rover ones fitted with a matching set of BFG mud terrains on there. Has to be said, the front tires are getting a little bit thin. Um, and yeah, a few marks and scuffs on it here and there because it has been used for its, uh, for its true purpose. And one or two bits of white paint from his decorating, I think, here and there. But we'll go around and pick out what we can. I'm not gonna go through every single mark because there are you know, quite, quite a lot of them. But um, around the front end, what else has it got on it? It's got the under the underride protection bar, a genuine Land Rover steering um, steering protector on it. It has rear mud flaps, um, tow bar with ball and pintle, and that's about your lot. And inside, it's dead standard with the um, the Alpine radio CD and uh, centre rodman's tray. Again, that's uh, that's about it. Um, a standard late model one. 63 on a 14 plate. So let's start from the front end. There's quite a few marks and marks and stuff on the bonnet. Um, little scuffs and scratches and things. But uh, front end of it looks very straightforward. Um, as I say, painter and decorator. So there are a couple of spots of white paint on it here and there. They may come out with uh, with a good. A good cut another mark just there basically you know it is quite marked throughout i don't want to have to sort of list every single tiny little thing scratch there a couple of spots of white paint on the air vent looking down the near side apart from a small depression in the passenger door which we'll come to uh, we've got a slight parking dink just there and some scratches on the top of the near side front wing all the way along here scratched um, screen rubber looks pretty new, screen block losing a bit of its uh, paint just there, but obviously scuttle looks fine, roof looks fine, B post looks fine, yeah there's a slight depression that goes from about here, depression and scuff, it goes from here to here in the passenger door, probably rubbed against the branch or, some branch or something. Um, it's not deep, it's quite shallow, but you can feel it with your fingers and it's say between there and there. Marks there. Inside here, you know, we, we've given it a reasonable clean, but it's not absolutely, um, uh, absolutely, is it left the factory in terms of cleanliness, shall we say, but uh, I'm not a valeter. Um, but it's, you know, we've put new seat bases in as well because both seat bases are absolutely knackered, hence the slight mismatch in colour. That's, that is the colour that that would have been when it was new six years ago so a bit of fade and dirt and stuff um dash is all as it should be correct it's only got headlining in the front and you may not be able to see them with the light in here but there are a couple of dirty marks on the headlining as i say this one has been used for its um for what it was designed for let's just go back in here and see if it's possible to see under here with the light level not really is the answer to that Having said that, it is a 2014 example, so um, shouldn't really be expecting 
much in the way of chassis issues. Um, near side, rear, again, one or two minor marks, but uh, just along there. But overall, and there's a scratch just along there. Overall, not bad at all, considering that's the side that normally gets badly, uh, badly scuffed off-road. Yeah, I think we may well do this video outside again at a later stage, but for now this will have to, uh, this will have to suffice. Um, around the tail end. Open this up. It's matted in the back, but obviously the mat is a bit uh, old and tired and dirty now. And as you can see, it has worked for a living in the back. Um, door card is a bit marked, but no more than that. Spare is a Goodyear Wrangler rather than a BFG. Looking down the offside, actually rather straight down the offside. Got some hedge scratches in the van side up here. Uh, that go all the way full length of the van side. And we've got some scratches and marks around the fuel filler around here. Under here. So you can't see a lot, I'm afraid, because of the, uh, the light levels under there. A few marks on the driver's door. Um, offside front wing again, a few marks from its, uh, its life in, in gamekeeping situations, rather than decorating situations. Um, up here around the screen. And then under here. And then inside, say so new seat bases and the backrests are actually in good order. So there we have it. As I say, not the um, uh, it's no show pony, but it is a nice, honest defender, um, and it is a late model one as well. Now, I can't get far enough back enough to frame the whole vehicle. So, there we have it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com. Okay, quick video of the engine running when it's hot on this 2.2 uh, TDCI uh, 2014 hardtop.